December 27th and we're starting to do some work on these uh, ribs for the ailerons and the flaps. Um, looks like we'll have to do a little a little bit of pressing there. I have to flatten that out. Uh, looks like they from the uh, forming process when they stamp these out um, it just gets a little bit of a kink in there so we'll have to take that out. Uh, the other thing we have to do is the top side of the ribs are pre-drilled for the rivets and that's two tenths of an inch from the edge of this flange to the center of that hole underneath. We have to do the same thing on this side so what we'll do is we'll measure two tenths in from the edge, from the edge of the flange and then we'll draw a line along that length similar to what we did with the rudder. So when we go to put this together, we'll have the ribs in there, we'll line up the holes with the, uh, uh, with the skin, and then we'll, we'll transfer drill the holes through there for the rivets. So that's what we're working on today. Um, might bend skins? Maybe, we might, might start working on some skins. Okay, so we've got uh, our ribs that we, uh, we did the line on this. I think I talked about that. Uh, you have to measure a line two tenths of an inch in from this outside flange and then that'll line up with the holes that are on the other side of the, this skin and then we'll transfer drill those holes through there. Got our skin bent for the flap uh, using a, a two, inch, two inch PVC and now we've got it kind of test fit up uh, after the after the band and it looks like it's fitting pretty pretty good yeah that's fitting pretty good in there okay we got the edges rolled on the flaps already uh, we did that had to go pick up a larger diameter of PVC, uh, the ones we had for the for the elevator and the uh, rudder was too small. So this uses a larger diameter bend uh, where those ribs go, go in there. So I thought I'd show that. Um, we did drill these out number 30 for the flap skins. However, the aileron skins are a number 40. So we're doing a number 40 down here on that and uh, getting ready to bend this up. Uh, we're doing the same technique we did with the other skins is uh, we're putting a two by four through there and clamping it down to our tables. We had to rearrange our tables a little bit because the skins are longer than the tables are. So we had to put two of them together. And then we had to battle with uh, the floor in this hangar isn't quite even. Each of the slabs kind of are a little concave, so you know the floor is not 100% perfectly flat. So we had to move it around to find a good flat spot for both of them. Got that in there, and got the two by four in there, and we just used some cotton uh, cotton dish towels, just white cotton dish towels in there as a padding underneath there to hold that skin up while we bend that over. There we go. We're done for the evening up here and um, got, uh, what did we get done today? We got these ribs, aileron and flap ribs marked for drilling on the bottom side. Uh, I had to, had to do a, a line on there. Removed um, a bend in all of these ribs that was right here from the, from when they stamped the ribs out. I put a, put a little bit of a bend in that. 
that flange right there. So we straighten that out, got that done. We got these aileron skins. Got these aileron skins formed, uh, both of those done. Uh, we didn't get them cleaned up yet or didn't get the bend tabs taken off of those. And, and we got the flap skins got those formed for the uh, where they fit onto the ribs and the spar um, got both of those done flap skin there flap skin here it's about all we had on the list to do so uh, we're calling it a night and uh, appreciate you watching the video if you like it give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber subscribe um, but uh, we'll be back and we've got a few more things on our list uh, to do. Well, we got a lot of things on our list to do. Uh, but next up is we'll get these uh, flaps and ailerons uh, as much as we can. See how, see how far we can get on getting those uh, put together. Um, but um, yep, that's it for now.